Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alexei and today what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at Andrew Shep's drums jerk trick. Andrew Shep is a well-known sound engineer who is famous for working with Red Hat Chili Peppers, Metallica and many more. So in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at Andrew Shep's drums parallel distortion trick which is called drums jerk. So first of all for our drums jerk trick we're gonna be using isotope trash too. And here we're gonna be using trash and for trash Andrew Sheps used nasty boy preset in heavy section. Then we're gonna be using filter and here you can take a look at filter settings Andrew Sheps used in his original video. We're gonna be using dynamics and again you can take a look at the settings Andrew Sheps used in his video. After Trash 2, I'm gonna be using Studio One Stack EQ. And again, I used the same settings for Studio One Stack Pro EQ as Andrew Sheps used in his original video. So here I cut some highs around 3 kHz, around minus 16 dB, to cut some symbols of our drums. Then we need to apply drums jerk to all of our drums. Now let's have a listen to our drums with drums jerk. So now our drums don't sound so pleasant and to make our drums sound much better. So here on our drums dirt effects channel we have to reduce volume. So now our drums sound much better. And if you want to create some dynamics for your drums in the mix, so in this case if you want to use drums jerk only on your chorus sections in your mix to help your drums to stand out in the mix. So in this case you can use some automation on your drums jerk effects channel. So for instance we can use mute automation for our drums jerk effects channel for our intro, for our verse and for our bridge parts in our song and we can unmute our drums jerk effects channel only on our chorus parts in our mix. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you like the video. And if you want to learn more from Andrew Sheps, you can check out his videos and courses on Mix with the Masters. And see you next time.